Hi, this is Matt at AppWorks with another video in the series of creating related records. And in this video, we're going to talk about a, a method that I really like, which allows you to just have a script like a button. Um, this is the, the reason I like this method most is because if you go out on the internet and look at most sites that have a way to say make a new representative or something for, uh, for a record, it's always a like a box, uh, a button that you can click sort of in the top right of the of the portal that has something that says add new record or new rep or something like that. So how would we do that? We would make, I always use one segment button bars and um, because I can control the text on that and I'll call it add rep and put the icon at the left. I like this plus icon that's kind of large and I usually make it a little bit bigger like 16 points. And then I'll have that run a script, which I haven't written yet, so I'll click Perform Script. And then here I'll say in the lower corner, create a new script called Create Rep. So here's what the script will do. Um, it will, first of all, grab the ID of the record that we're looking at. So I'll create a variable called ID, and that's going to be the ID of the company. Then it's going to go to the layout um, where that um, record will be created, which is going to be person. So in desktop, under, well, I'm not sure if it's in the right spot. The person layout right here. And it's going to then create a record there, new record. And then it's going to set up some fields. Um, so the first field that it will set. Um, you know, I'm not actually entirely sure about setting a field, but we might want to set something like enter person's name or, or something like that. Um, you know, in this case, I think we're just going to leave it completely blank. So we won't actually set any fields uh, in the visible data. But of course, one thing that we do for sure have to set um, now that I think about it is the foreign key. So we have to grab the customer ID um, to ID that we just set up uh, above there. And then it will then go back to my original layout. Go back to original. So that's really it. So grab the ID, create a record, and then come back. Um, then I'll click OK on that one. And go to test this out. OK, so if I click this, uh, let's actually run it in debugger so we can see it happening. I click and run it, and it goes to the person layout, creates a record sets the ID so it knows it's related, and then just comes back. And then we have a scripture that runs here um, to load some data. Um, and then I get kind of a blank line. So you know, I think I probably do want to put something on here that it makes it a little bit more obvious um, that I'm making a new person, because um, I think that might be really good, right? Uh, so I'll go ahead and modify my script and say, when I make my new rep, uh, in addition to setting customer, I'll set first name to like, you know, the word first and last to last, something like that. I probably might not do this because you can also use the other field and the other feature in FileMaker, um, which will show you data only if the field is missing data. Um, so that's the uh, the feature called placeholder text right here. So you can click in your field and say, if it's missing data, then it will automatically show a placeholder. That Honestly, that probably would be a better way, but just to show this technique, here's, here's how this can be done. So now if I add a new record, add rep, it will make a new one and it will say first, last. So there's some other methods. You can take a look at some of the other videos I've made to, to show about highlighting that line. And then I can just go in here and type in, um, you know, what data I, I'm setting. Steve Smith, for example. All right, so that's one uh, another really good way of making a related record in addition to some of the other methods we've talked about. Thanks for your time.